day 199, Isaiah 23 through 27. This is just the word where we are reading chronologically through the Bible in a year, day 199 of 365, New King James Version, starting with Isaiah chapter 23. The burden against Tyre, well, you ships of Tarshish, for it is laid waste, so that there is no house, no harbor, for the land of Cyprus it is revealed to them. Be still, you inhabitants of the coastland, you merchants of Sidon, whom those who cross the sea have filled, and on great waters the grain of Shihor. The harvest of the river is her revenue, and she is a marketplace for the nations. Be ashamed, O Sidon, for the sea has spoken, the strength of the sea, saying, I do not labor, nor bring forth children, neither do I rear young men, nor bring up virgins. When the report reaches Egypt, they also will be in agony at the report of Tyre. Cross over to Tarshish, well, you inhabitants of the coastland, is this your joyous city, whose antiquity is from ancient days? whose feet carried her far to dwell, who has taken this counsel against Tyre, the crowning city, whose merchants are princes, whose traders are the honorable of the earth. The Lord of hosts has proposed it to bring to dishonor the pride of all glory, to bring into contempt to all the honorable of the earth. Overflow through your land, overflow through your land like the river, O daughter of Tarshish, there is no more strength. He stretched out his hand over the sea and shook the kingdoms. The Lord has given a commandment against Canaan to destroy its strongholds. And he said, you will rejoice no more, O you oppressed virgin daughter of Sidon. Arise, cross over to Cyprus. There also you will have no rest. Behold, the land of the Chaldeans, this people which was not Assyria, founded it for wild beasts of the desert. They set up its towers, they raised up its palaces, and brought it to ruin. Well, you sh ships of Tarshish, for your strength is laid waste. Now it shall come to pass in that day that Tyre will be forgotten seventy years, according to the days of one king. At the end of 70 years, it will happen to Tyre as in the song of the harlot. Take a harp, go about the city, you forgotten harlot. Make sweet melodies, sing many songs that you may be remembered. And it shall be at the end of 70 years that the Lord will deal with Tyre. She will return to her hire and commit fornication with all the kingdoms of the world on the face of the earth. Her grain and her pay will be set apart for the Lord. It will not be treasured nor laid up, for her gain will be for those who dwell before the Lord to eat sufficiently and for fine clothing. Chapter 24. Behold, the Lord makes the earth empty and makes it waste, distorts its surfaces and scatters abroad its inhabitants, and it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with his masters, as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with the creditor, so with the debtor. The land shall be entirely emptied and utterly plundered, for the Lord has spoken this word. The earth mourns and fades away. The world anguishes and fades away. The haughty people of the earth languish. The earth is also defiled under its inhabitants because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore, the curse has devoured the earth and those who dwell in it are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men are left. The new wine fails, the vine languishes, all the merry-hearted sigh, 
The mirth of the tambourine ceases, the noise of the jubilant ends, the joy of the harp ceases. They shall not drink wine with the song. Strong drink is bitter to those who drink it. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up so that none may go in. There is a cry of wine in the streets. A joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. In the city, desolation is left, and the gate is stricken with destruction. When it shall be thus in the midst of the land among the people, it shall be like the shaking of an olive tree, like the gleaning of grapes when the vintage is gone. They shall lift up their voice, they shall sing, for the majesty of the Lord shall cry aloud from the sea. Therefore the glory of the Lord in the dawning light, the name of the Lord God of Israel in the coastal lands of the sea, for the ends of the earth will have heard songs. Glory to the righteous. But I said, I am ruined, ruined. Woe to me. The treacherous dealers have dealt treacherously. Indeed, the treacherous dealers have dealt very treacherously. Fear and the pit and the snare are upon you, o inhabitants of the earth. And it shall be that he who flees from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit. And he who comes up from the midst of the pit shall be caught in the snare. For the windows from on high are open, and the foundations of the earth are shaken. The earth is violently broken. The earth is split open. The earth is shaken exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and from like a junkard, drunkard, and shall totter like a hut. Its transgression shall be heavy upon it, and it will fall and not rise again. It shall come to pass in that day that the Lord will punish on high the host of exalted ones and on the earth, the kings of the earth. They will be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit and will be shut up in the prisons. After many days, they will be punished. Then the moon will be disgraced and the sun ashamed for the Lord of hosts will reign on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem and before his elders gloriously. Chapter 25, O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name for you have done wonderful things. Your counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. For you have made a city a ruin, a fortified city a ruin, a palace of foreigners to be a city no more. I have never, it will never be rebuilt. Therefore, the strong people will glorify you. The city of the terrible nations will fear you. You have been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shade from the heat. For the blast of the terrible one is a storm against the wall. You will reduce the noise of the aliens as heat in a dry place, as heat in the shadow of a cloud. The song of the terrible ones will be dim dis diminished. And in this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all people a feast of choice pieces, a feast of wines on the lees, of fat things full of marrow, of well-refined wines on the lees. And he will destroy on this mountain the surface of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces and rebuke the rebuke of his people he will take away from all the earth for the lord has spoken and it will be said in that day behold this is our god we have waited for him and he will save us this is the lord we have waited for him we will be glad and rejoice in his salvation for on this mountain the hand of the lord will rest and moab shall be trampled under be trampled down under him as straw is trampled down for the refuse heap and he will spread out his hands in their midst as a simmerer reaches out as a swimmer reaches out to swim and he will bring down their pride together with the trickery of their hands the fortress of the high fort of your walls he will bring down lay low and bring to the ground down to the dust chapter 26 in that day this song will be sung in the land of judah we have a strong city god will appoint salvation for walls and bulwarks open the gates that the righteous nation will keep 
that the righteous nation will keep the truth may enter in, which keeps the truth may enter in. You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for in Yah the Lord is everlasting strength. For he brings down those who dwell on high, the lofty city. He lays it low. He lays it low to the ground. He brings it down to the dust. The foot shall tread. The foot shall tread it down. The feet of the poor and the steps of the needy. The way of the just is uprightness. O most upright, you weigh the path of the just. Yes, in the way of your judgments. O Lord, we have waited for you. The desire of our soul is for your name and for the remembrance of you. With my soul, I have desired you in the night. Yes, by my spirit within me, I will seek you early. For when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Let grace be shown to the wicked, yet he will not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness, he will deal unjustly, and he will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Lord, when your hand is lifted up, they will not see, but they will see and be ashamed for their envy of people. Yes, the fire of your enemies shall devour them. Lord, you will establish peace for us, for you have also done all your works in us. O Lord, our God, masters beside you have no dominion over us. But by you only we make mention of your name. They are dead, they will not live. They are deceased, they will not rise. Therefore you have punished and destroyed them and made all their memory to perish. You have increased the nation, O Lord. You have increased the nation, you are glorified. You have expanded all the borders of the land. Lord, in trouble they have visited you. They poured out a prayer when your chastening was upon them. As a woman with child is in pain and cries out in her pangs when she draws near the time of her delivery, so have we been in your sight, O Lord. We have been with child. We have been in pain. We have, as it were, brought forth wind, and we have not accomplished any deliverance in the earth nor have the inhabitants of the world fallen. Your dead shall live. Together with my dead body, they shall arise. Awaken and sing, you who dwell in dust. For your dew is like the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. Come, my people, enter your chambers and shut your doors behind you. Hide yourself, as it were, for a little moment under the indignation until the indignation is past. For behold, the Lord comes out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth will also disclose her blood and will no more cover her slain. Chapter 27. In that day, the Lord, in that day, the Lord with his Severe sword, great and strong, will punish Leviathan, the fling serpent, Leviathan, that twisted serpent, and he will slay the reptile that is in the sea. And that day sing to her a vineyard of red vine. I, the Lord, keep it. I water it every moment, lest any hurt it. I keep it night and day. Fury is not in me. Who would set briars and thorns against me in battle? I would go through them, and I would burn them together, or let them take hold of my strength, that he may make peace with me, and he shall make peace with me. Those who come, he shall cause to take root in Jacob. Israel shall blossom and bud, and fill the face of the world with fruit. As he struck Israel, as he struck those who struck him. Has he struck Israel as he struck those who struck him? Or has he been slain according to the slaughter of those who were slain by him? In measure, by sending it away, you contended with it. He removes it by his rough wind in the day of the east wind. Therefore, by this the iniquity of Jacob will be covered. 
and this is all the fruit of taking away his sin. When he makes all the stones of the altar like chalk stones that are beaten to dust, wooden images and incense altars shall not stand. Yet the fortified city will be desolate, the inhabitant forsaken and left like a wilderness. There the calf will feed, and there it will lie down and consume its branches. When it bows, when its bows are withered, they will be broken off. The women came and set them on fire, for it is a people of no understanding. Therefore, he who made them will not have mercy on them, and he who formed them will show them no favor. It shall come to pass in that day that the Lord will thresh from the channel of the river to the brook of Egypt, and he will, and you will be gathered one by one, O you children of Israel. So it shall be in that day the great trumpet will be blown that will come. So it shall be in that day the great trumpet will be blown. They will come who are about to perish in the land of Assyria and they who are outcast in the land of Egypt and shall worship the Lord in the holy mountain at Jerusalem. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. That was day 199, Isaiah 23 through 27.